it's Sarah coming to you from Jersey Shore Unified Yoga. I miss all the athletes at the Jersey Shore and I'm hoping to connect with them and connect with any new friends that might be watching this through the Special Olympics New Jersey website. I am here because right now it's a little bit confusing. We're being asked to stay at home. So I wanted to share some yoga with you. And it's so beautiful out today, so I decided to film in my backyard. So wherever you can do yoga, you can do it in your living room, in your backyard, you can take me with you and we can practice together. So I'm gonna just have you sit up nice and tall in an easy pose. And we're gonna practice our breathing exercises. We're gonna take deep breaths in through our nose and we're gonna sigh them out. <sighs> Big deep breath in through your nose and sigh it out. <sighs> You're doing great. So usually when we talk about breath, we think about maybe blowing out a birthday cake, the candles, right? So imagine that you have a birthday cake lit up in front of you. Take a deep breath in and blow those candles out. Great job, keep practicing. One more deep breath in and deep breath out. Nice work. So we're gonna to transition to just breathing in and out through our nose. And we're gonna think about a happy thought. Sometimes we say that's our intention for our yoga practice. So maybe your happy thought is your mom or your dad, your brother, your sister, a cousin, a friend, a pet. Maybe it's just something you're looking forward to. Just think about anything that makes you feel joy, something that makes you smile. So just taking a minute to think about your happy thought. And then we're gonna bring our hands to prayer at heart center. And we're just gonna bow our head to our hands. Come on back to center. Place your hands down on your knees and we're gonna drop our chin down to our chest and we're gonna make big circles with our chin. We call these neck rolls. You wanna do this very slowly. You wanna be nice and gentle with your neck. Just getting a nice stretch. Let's come one more time around. Take your time, bringing your chin back to the center of your chest. And then we're gonna go the other way. Come around one more time bringing your chin back to your chest and rising back to center. Let's roll our shoulders up, back and down, away from our ears. And then moving them up, forward and down. Nice work. So let's lock our elbows into our sides and we're gonna move our body forward and we're just gonna make big circles with our torso. These are called trunk rolls. So as we move forward, we're bending our elbows, sweeping our belly down over our thighs. And as we move back, we're straightening our elbows and rounding our spine, tucking our chin towards our chest. Keep making big circles with your body. Again, moving slowly. Practicing that breath in through the nose, out through the nose. And then we're going to reverse our direction. We're gonna come one more time around. Take your time, meeting back at center. And then I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see me a little bit better. 
We're sitting up nice and tall and we're gonna reach our arms up high and fold over our cross legs. Walk your hands out, let your head fall towards your mat, relax your neck. And then we're gonna walk our hands back in, place our hands under our shoulders and drop our head back. If you like, you can lift your hips up to the sky. Slowly make your way back down. And then we're gonna bring the soles of our feet to meet. We're gonna clasp our hands around our feet, press your chest forward and just wiggling your hips. You're gonna butterfly your legs. And then coming to stillness, we're gonna bend at our elbows, folding down over our legs. You can walk your hands out and breathe. Slowly walk your hands back in and we're gonna extend our leg out in front of us. I'm using my right leg right now, but it doesn't matter which leg you use as long as you do both sides. So my left foot is tucked to my inner right thigh. I'm gonna reach my arms up high and I'm gonna fold over my right leg. And it doesn't matter if I reach my foot, my ankle, or my shin. As long as you're getting a nice stretch, Slowly drag your hands up your leg. We're gonna bend our right knee and we're gonna bring our right hand to our right hip and our left hand down towards the floor. And I'm just gonna rock this hip back and forth. Keep that hip raised up. And then we're just going to walk our right hand out, left hand frames the knee and we're gonna walk forward, folding over the left knee. Then walk it back. Nice job. We're gonna bend that right knee, come back to our bound angle, clasping our hands around our feet, sitting up tall and folding once again. Maybe going a little bit further this time. and slowly walk it back. Nice. So let's extend our left leg out in front of us. The right foot comes into our inner thigh. Reach the arms up and fold over your left leg. Slowly come on back. Bend that left knee. Left hand comes to the hip. Right hand comes to the mat and we're rocking our hip up and back. And then we're just gonna drop that left hand down. We're framing our knee with our hands and we're gonna walk it forward, coming into that animal stretch. And then we're gonna extend both legs out in front of us, sitting up nice and tall. Press your chest forward, reach your arms up and fold over both legs. Slowly come on back. Nice job. We're gonna tuck our feet behind us come up into our tabletop. So we wanna put two fists between our knees so that our knees are hips distance apart. And then we're gonna place our hands under our shoulders, spreading the fingers nice and wide. And we're gonna take our cat cows. Inhale, drop the belly, look up. 
exhale, round the spine, drop the crown of the head towards your mat. Keep moving. Keep breathing, match your movement to your breath work. times in each direction. And then making your way back to a neutral spine, we're going to extend our right arm out in front of us. Drop the right hand down and reach the left arm out in front of you. Let's do that once more on each side. Bring out that right arm. Drop it down. Extend your left arm. Nice job. Keep going. Or if you like a little bit more, you can extend your opposite leg. So right now I have my right arm and my left leg extended. A lot of balance here, so be careful. Come on back. Opposite side, if this is uncomfortable for you, you can drop your knee and just extend your arm. One more time, each direction. Great job, come on back to your table. We're gonna take some hip circles. So we're gonna kick our hips out to the left and roll them in a circle. Breathing deeply in and out through your nose. And then going the other way. We're gonna come one more time around. And then we're gonna drop our booty to our heels and bring our forehead down towards the mat, reaching the arms out in front of us for child's pose. Today's mindfulness code word is cake. C-A-K-E, cake. Remember to log that code word. Great job, let's move back to our hands and knees and then we're gonna drop down to our belly. Uncurl your toes, your chin is on your mat. You're spreading your fingers wide under your shoulders. We're gonna come into that cobra pose, snake pose. So really zip up your legs, take a deep breath in and push up. You wanna keep your elbows bent and you're breathing. You could be down in baby cobra if that feels good to you, whatever works for you. And then let's lower our right cheek down to our mat and just take a breath. Let's bring our chin back to our mat. We're gonna push up into another cobra. Breathe. and then slowly lower your left cheek down to your mat. We're gonna bring our arms down to our sides. Bring our chin back to the center of our mat and we're gonna raise our left leg up. Point the toes, breathe. Drop that leg down, take a deep breath in and raise your other leg. Come on back down. Let's come into our sphinx pose, coming up onto our forearms. We want a nice straight line from our elbow to our wrist and we're looking straight out in front of us. Just take a few breaths here. And 
And then we're gonna stack our forearms on top of each other. Bring our forehead down to our forearms for crocodile and just take a few breaths here. Let's move back to our forearms for one more sphinx pose. If you want a little bit of an extra challenge, you can bring your left heel towards your booty. Come on back, bring your right heel towards your booty. And come on back. One more time, drop down into that crocodile, stacking the forearms, dropping the forehead down. And then placing our hands under our shoulders, we're gonna push back to one more child's pose. And then we're gonna make our way into our downward facing dog, that upside down V. Try to relax that space between your shoulders. You're pushing your hips up and back and you're spreading your fingers nice and wide, pressing your hands into the mat. We're gonna pedal our dog. We're gonna bend one knee, straighten the other. Just go back and forth. And then coming to stillness. Nice job. Two more big deep breaths here. And then we're going to come down to our knees and swing our feet around. We're going to come all the way down to our back. We're gonna tuck our right knee in towards our chest, clasp our hands around our shin and pull that knee in close. Try to relax through your shoulders. Inhaling and exhaling nice and smooth, even breaths. And then we're gonna place our right hand on our knee and our left hand on our hip and we're gonna make some circles. This is good for your hip flexors. And let's go the other way. Come on back to center, hug that knee in one more time. and lower it all the way down to the mat. Let's hug the left knee or the other knee in, pull it in close. I like to keep my feet flexed here. Relax your shoulders. And then place the left hand on your knee, your right hand on your right hip and make some circles with your left knee. And let's go the other way. Come on back to center, hug that knee in close and release all the way down. Let's reach our arms up high, take a deep stretch, lengthening your whole body. And then place your arms down at your sides. Walk your feet in towards your booty so your knees are tented. And we're going to press our hands into the mat and lift our hips up towards the sky or the ceiling if you're inside. 
slowly lower that down. Just take a rest. One more time, deep breath in, lift your hips up to the sky. And slowly lower all the way back down. We're gonna airplane our arms out to our sides and keeping our knees tented, we're gonna walk our feet towards the edges of our mat. And just like the windshield wipers of a car, we're just gonna rock our legs back and forth. Great job. Let's walk our feet back in, hug the knees in one more time and just give a little rock from side to side. And then we're gonna drop our feet down to our mat, straighten our legs out in front of us. We're gonna let our arms come down to our sides with the palms up towards the sky. We're gonna close our eyes and remember that deep breathing in through your nose and out through your nose. Just giving yourself this time to let your body fully relax into your mat. Finding peace, finding calm, finding quiet. Just heal, feel your whole body soften. back to your happy thought. You're doing great. Just a few more breaths. And when you're ready to come back to your body, Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. You can gently rock your head from side to side, moving very slowly. Mm -hmm. Coming back to center, bring your feet together and reach your arms overhead. Take a very deep stretch point your toes, reach your hands, and then hug the knees into the chest and just rock from side to side. And when you're ready, you can move over to your side and using your hands, pushing up into a seated position. Place your hands on your knees and roll your shoulders up, back and down, away from your ears. Take a deep breath in, sigh it out. Let's bring our hands out to the sides, reach them up to the sky and bring the hands down to prayer at heart center. Thank you so much for sharing your yoga practice with me today. Namaste. Bye friends, I was so happy to get a chance to share this with you today and I hope that I see you all very, very soon.